Here is the latest Xbox Series S starter bundle for this holiday season. The original Series S 512 gigabyte paired with three months of Game Pass Ultimate. Last year, we had the Series S for $240. This year, it's about $10 more, but you do get the three months of Game Pass. So perhaps it's a slightly better deal than last year. If you want the more powerful Xbox Series X, there is the Diablo 4 bundle with the Series X and it's on sale for $450. Perhaps that's the best value we've seen on the Series X ever. Now this Xbox Series S bundle is packaged like any other Series S and there is this special outer sleeve on the outside. We break the two seals on the top and the bottom and then slide the sleeve and get to the inner box which is pretty much a standard Series S box. Three more seals to break here. We swing open the box and inside we got everything. There's there's all the accessories up here. So here's what you get inside of this nice box. You get the console, the power cable, the HDMI cable, and this is a high speed 2.0. The Series X actually comes with a 2.1. The controller with two AA batteries and the user manual. Now you're probably wondering where the heck is the code for my three month ultimate membership? Well, for that, we need to set up and power on the console. Overall, this thing is a tiny little box. You can stand it up vertically or position it horizontally without any stand. Let's plug in the HDMI cable on the back and the power cable. It does have built-in Wi-Fi, but there is an ethernet port if you want a more stable wired connection. And we're ready to plug this in and connect to the TV. Now you can use your phone to set this up. You do need the Xbox app installed for that. I find that's a little buggy at times, so I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way with the controller. Insert the batteries into the controller, use the sync button to pair it with the console. Once connected, you can go through the setup, select your language, set up your Wi-Fi, the country you live in. Now at this point, it's gonna download some updates. Console will restart as well. And again, you can continue the setup using your phone while this thing is downloading. Once that's done, you log into your Microsoft account. You can also create one if you're new to Xbox. There's a few privacy related selections. Now you can copy over settings from an older console. You can see my Xbox One here that I will select. Select how you want to sign in. I prefer instant sign in. The console is going to apply your settings at this point. This might take a few minutes. And once that's done, there's a few more selections, including the time zone you live in and the power settings. Here I do recommend instant on if you play a lot. For those of you that don't play often, maybe consider energy saving mode. You can pick the option here to automatically keep your games and apps up to date. And it'll also automatically calibrate with your TV settings. This will kind of detect what options your TV supports. During the setup, we'll get to this screen and really have the option here to claim the three months of code. You can also claim on a different Microsoft account or you can claim it later. If you do decide to claim later, you then need to go to settings, accounts included with this Xbox. And that brings you back to this screen where the three months of Game Pass Ultimate can be claimed. Overall, this Xbox Series S is really good value. I mean, for $250, you have a machine that can play the latest games and play them really well. There's a lot of games you have access to right out of the box. Games like Fortnite, Rocket League are free to play. You don't even require any online memberships. You can go on over to the Microsoft Store and filter for free games. One of the main reasons to get a Series S is Xbox Game Pass. So if you can afford it, I highly recommend you get that subscription. It'll give you access to hundreds of games and these aren't just shovelware. You get access to pretty much the best games on Xbox like Forza, 
Halo, Gears of War, Hades, Best of All, new releases like Forza Horizon 5, Halo Infinite are available on Game Pass from day one. If you're interested in playing next gen games that are optimized for the Series X, you can head on over to Games and Apps, go to your full library, then Xbox Game Pass. Here you can apply a filter optimize for Series S and X and you will get a list of all the next gen titles. And there's quite a few that are included with Xbox Game Pass. You can pretty much apply the same filter for EA Play games as well as in the Microsoft Store. Now the console itself, the overall way to navigate things, it's really the same as Xbox One. So if you're a previous Xbox owner, everything's gonna look really familiar. That's it for my setup and tips. For the rest of the video, check out some gameplay on this little console and enjoy your new Series S.